hey, everybody, on December 17th, the U.S. Patent Office's Patent Trials and Appeals Board, or PTAB, granted Philip Morris's petition to review HCMC's electronic pipe patent. Now, that's the patent involved in the HCMC versus Philip Morris patent infringement lawsuit. Let's talk about what to expect from this review, how long it could take, and what it could mean for HCMC in the long run. So if you recall, this patent review was Philip Morris's attempt to get the U.S. Patent Office to determine that HCMC's electronic pipe patent is invalid. The patent was granted to HCMC back in 2020 after several applications. HCMC had to clarify the language in the patent to be more specific about what it was covering in order to get it approved, but it did eventually get approved. It took several years. Philip Morris filed a petition for review earlier this year, claiming that there were already several patents that covered the key parts of HCMC's electronic pipe patent. I've done a few videos on what Philip Morris was arguing about and how that whole process works and why we're here, so check those out if you'd like more information about this. I know many of you have asked me frequently why the patent office would grant a patent in the first place if it could just be later overturned. Well, the short answer to that is that it's impossible for any amount of people to go through the millions of patents that have been filed over the past 50 years and try to make sure that every piece of a new patent application is clear of any prior art. It's just not feasible or practical. Patents would just never get approved. Nothing would actually be protected. There's already an extensive review done on app every application. So instead, we have this review process where folks can ask the patent office to review patents that are already out there. They can say to the patent office, hey, I think you guys missed something. Here's why. In a sense, it's up to the people who think they own something that's been covered by a patent to bring that up to the review board. Or in this case, you can also bring it to the board if you're being sued for allegedly infringing on a patent. It gives you a place to argue that the patent might have been mistakenly granted to waive that off as a defense. Now, I know it doesn't feel good to have a method of legally protecting property that's inherently flawed, it seems, but in the grand scheme of things, these reviews are only a tiny fraction of the number of patents that get granted. The Patent Office grants between 300 and 400,000 patents a year. Meanwhile, PTAB has only taken up less than 1,000 reviews each year. That's less than three-tenths of a percent. And the number of reviews has been declining year to year. So this isn't that common of an occurrence. But unfortunately, HCMC has found itself in the 0.2% here, with its patent about to go under review at the Patent Office. So here's what that means. Over the next year, yep, the whole year, the Patent Office will run kind of a mini trial procedure. HCMC and Philip Morris will be allowed to file documents, present evidence, and make arguments at a hearing, possibly. Then PTAB will issue a decision on whether any part or the whole patent is valid. They may decide that the patent is valid, which would be a win for HCMC or they may strike out a few parts or even throw out the whole thing as in being invalid. Then whatever is left of the patent after the review finishes is what HCMC gets for that patent. It could be entirely intact the way it is right now, or just be all gone or somewhere in between. But regardless of the outcome, the patent office has up to a year to issue that decision. So December, 2022. They can also extend that time throughout the process by about six months if they have a good reason to do that. And who knows, with COVID and some other things happening in the world, who knows what that could do to the timeline. But PTAB has been pretty much on time in 2021 with the other reviews it's conducted. The process is pretty well scheduled and very tight as a calendar. It's all pre-scheduled out in the scheduling order, so you can see exactly when everything is due. There aren't as many delays or extensions or motions or any in-between stuff that you found at the court procedure. So that's where that extra six months could come into play if some time was needed somewhere. And there'd have to be a really good reason for that. The first thing you'll see coming on the scheduling order is that HCMC gets to file a response to all of this by March 11th, 2022. Now they could have filed a response to Philip Morris's petition after Philip Morris filed it originally this year, but they chose not to. Now they have that chance again. They'll lay out all of their arguments against Philip Morris and what they were saying and try to push back to prove that their patent is not covered by those older patents that Philip Morris listed and talked about in their petition. Then as you see in the scheduling order, you'll see that Philip Morris gets to reply to that response, and they go back and forth a bit with more filings throughout the summer. Then in the fall, there could be a hearing or other live arguments if either party, HCMC or Philip Morris, requests it. And if there is a hearing or an oral argument, that'll be in September at the earliest. And then the decision from PTAB on whether the patent is still valid would come between September and December. 
The whole process is written right there so you can follow it pretty easily. You'll find all the document filings on that same PTAB document website where you found the institution decision and the scheduling order. And if you need those instructions and the link again, check the video description below for that. It's a year long process and honestly, nothing's really helpful in this case until the decision comes out. The filings are very technical in nature. They're not really legal arguments like we're gonna see in the appeals process. There will be a discussion on the definition of combustion, uh, maybe whether an old patent already covered a device that partially combusts to heat tobacco with the Robinson patent and the Hummel patent that's part of the, the, the petition there. There will be a lot of discussion on chargers and batteries and how electricity flows to the device, lots of engineering diagrams, all sort of that stuff that just goes way, way over my head. But the stakes here are clear. HCMC either wins this or they don't have a patent anymore. So a year from now, HCMC could be told by PTAB that they no longer have a valid patent. So what does that mean for HCMC? Well, first, even if that appeal of the lawsuit was going well, well, that would instantly end without a valid patent. The lawsuit requires that this electronic pipe patent stays valid. You can't have an infringement lawsuit without a patent to infringe upon. So if HCMC loses that PTAB here, the appeal becomes meaningless and the lawsuit is super dead. Additionally, if HCMC loses this patent, it's a significant piece of property that they lose as a company. HCMC has promoted its libraries of patents. It's created that secondary entity to hold the patents. And this seems to be the leading patent on their list. So it would probably be a huge negative mark on HCMC as a company if they lost their primary patent. Now on the flip side, there's less noticeable impact if HCMC wins. If PTAB rules that the patent is valid, then nothing really changes at all. The lawsuit is in whatever status it is and then it would be unaffected. HCMC wouldn't have lost any property and it doesn't really add any inherent value to the patent to have won a case like this. It just means it's not gonna be challenged anytime soon. So in all actuality, HCMC only has things to lose from the review. They're the defense, and unfortunately they're already down by seven. PTAB doesn't take reviews if they think the review is a lost cause. Sure, HCMC can still win, right? We haven't seen their arguments and no decision has been made yet. You still have that whole year to wait. But statistically, more than half of the patents that go under a PTAB review don't come back intact. So I think it's realistic to believe that in a year from now, HCMC will not have this electronic pipe patent the way it looks like today. But hey, I'm not PTAB, I'm not making the decision, I'm not an engineer, and anything is possible. But statistically, it does not look good. Like I said before, the next step in this process is waiting for HCMC's argument in the response to the petition that's due by March 11th, 2022. And then the process continues as written in the scheduling order. That's pretty much it for this. It doesn't look great for HCMC and it's gonna take a year to find out what happens but that year is still faster than the time it's gonna to take to get through the court case appeals process, but that's a discussion for another time. That's it for now. I'm excited for some of the content I'm working on for next year. I'm getting things ready to help us all grow more next year as traders and critical thinkers, so be sure to subscribe to the channel to get all the new legal due diligence content, tips, and analysis that's coming from Shark Invested Waters in 2022. We're also doing a 5% stock profit challenge starting next year. So if you're looking to get a little more focused on small investment gains, and reading charts and learning how to trade better, come join the Discord server and learn a little bit along with us. The server link is in the description below. Keep doing your full due diligence on all of your investments and make informed financial decisions. And I'll see you next time.